Hello, welcome to you all. I am Reshma, a student of English literature as well as a teacher. Being a student and a teacher, I have found out that most of the students of English literature find history of English literature as the toughest subject. But this subject is the base. Only if a student have a strong foundation on this subject, he can enjoy and understand literature thoroughly. So, this is very important and from the net point of view also it is important. But here I am not going to deal it with from net point of view. But I am just going to teach you an outline history of English literature by William Henry Hudson. Because this is the book being prescribed by most of the university in their UG courses. And to learn this book there are few concepts which you have to remember. And that I will teach you now. What is history of English literature? History chronological order of event that happened in past. History of English literature, chronological account of books which has been written in English language. We cannot think of a book without thinking about the author or the men who wrote that. So the first concept is, it deals with the personality of men who made up literature. So in this book first you will learn about life of certain author, their experiences, and characteristic quality maybe of their work or maybe about their writing style and you also will learn a distinctive quality which made him the genius of that era. The second concept is to show the place in which each author occupies in it that is this book will also deal with the authors who came before that author how their influence was there and also the men who came after that author. So what are the relationship between the predecessor and success also we will see here. The third concept is if an author become popular, surely naturally his style will be imitated by some other writers at that age. So a group of imitators will be formed. So this led to formation of schools and movements. And this schools and movement kept on changing when the taste of the audience or taste of the public kept on changing. You know the school of Pope. This remained few writers who followed Pope's style. Then you would have heard about romantic movement, all romantic writers together. So this relation in this book, you will also see about the relationship between these schools and how as the ages passed, how this uh, schools kept on changing, how the movement kept on changing. That also you will learn in this book. The fourth concept is writers will have influence of the age in which they lived. So from their work, we will come to know what kind of society they were living in. We will come to know how the people were, what were their lifestyle, what they admired the most, what they thought about life, which emotions stirred them the most, which characteristic quality they admired. So these all details can be seen from the work of an author. For example, you can see the Elizabethan writers, they were usually influenced by Latin and Greek literature. This is what you learn as a renaissance. The fifth concept is periods of English literature. In this book, this ages, like you have heard about Elizabethan age, Restoration age, the Romantic age, Victorian age, this ages are named after the genius author of that age. So you will see here age of Chaucer, age of Shakespeare, age of Milton, age of Dryden, age of Pope, age of Johnson age of Wordsworth, age of Tennyson. So these authors you will learn in detail. Apart from this, history is just a continuous flow of event. We have no end, no beginning. But so this ages keep on overlapping. You can see Dryden was 43 years when Milton died and after that he lived only for 26 years. Still, we learn age of Milton separately and age of Dryden as completely a different era. To sum up, in the upcoming videos, I will teach you different ages of English literature and important authors of that age and from their works we will learn how the society of that age was. If you liked the way I am teaching, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get my notification whenever I upload new videos. And in the comment box, please suggest if you want to learn some topic. Thank you.